Here's how I like to think about it. We call it allergy when you have a reaction to pollen in the nose, and we call it asthma when it happens in the lung. It's the same process, just the location is different. So here is the process. Ragweed, which is a type of pollen that is present from the late summer through the late fall in many areas of the United States, blows in the wind. And that wind then delivers the pollen into your lungs. The airways become inflamed. They become swollen on the inside of the air tubes. And the muscles tighten and spasm on the outside of the air tubes. The air tubes fill with mucus, and you can guess it makes it really difficult to get air into or out of your lungs. Well, all this leads to increased coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. These are classic signs of an asthma attack. So what do you do to prevent the flare-up? Well, first, just stay away from the ragweed pollen as best you can. So keep the air conditioning running, showering after you've been outside, Allergic asthmatics should actually have a maintenance or daily inhaler that they use to keep their symptoms under control. And if you start to get symptoms of asthma, you can use your prescribed quick relief albuterol inhaler to relieve the symptoms and make it easier to breathe. But if the symptoms are severe and you're thinking you're experiencing an asthma attack, it's best to call 911 and seek emergency care. Most importantly, Follow up with your doctor to see what adjustments you need to keep your asthma under good control during ragweed season.